This is the plaintiff, Anthony Johnson. He's suing his own church pastor for stealing. He claims he's given the church thousands of dollars in tithes and offerings, but has not received any blessings. Meanwhile, the pastor flaunts wads of cash on Facebook with girls from the youth choir. Anthony is suing for $4,002 in the name of Jesus. Meet the defendant, Pastor Rel. He says, don't watch me, watch TV. He also claims that Anthony is a heathen and a hater. Maybe if he got to church on time, Jesus would give him his blessings on time too. Pastor Rel claims that Anthony doesn't even close his eyes all the way during prayer. He's accused of blocking the blessings. This is the case of what would Jesus do? All rise. Honorable Judge Lewis presiding. If you have a black BMW in the parking lot right now with expired tags, trust and believe your car is being towed. You can hurry it up, maybe slide the dude about $60, uh, Theodore, $70. That might be my car. Go ahead and check that out, please. You're supposed to be the judge. All right, everybody have a seat. Uh, Mr. Anthony Johnson says here you're a member of the Hope for the best, let Jesus get the rest. Missionary Baptist Church, God in Christ. Is that correct? Uh, former, Your Honor. I had the Bobby Brown at congregation. Mm. Please enlighten the court and let us understand why you believe this man is responsible for you not getting your bless. Glad you asked, Your Honor. First of all, let me start by saying I'm a Christian, I'm a God-fearing Christian. Everybody know God loves Christians more. Now, every Sunday, I gotta listen to somebody bragging about their blessing. Sister Avery's son just did a terrible thing in January. Got convicted of a double murder. He's getting out for Christmas. Dr. Thompson is 102 years old. He's outlived everybody in his family and just got his vision back. For what? He's been on earth 102 years old. He's seen everything. What else do they need to see? All right, now, there is the point to this story at some point, correct? I go to church every Sunday. I do my daily devotion. I pay 10% plus tax. I tip. Where my blessings at? Ain't no blessings, bitch. Yeah. Hey, 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 all right now. Settle down now in the courtroom. Listen here, Mr. Johnson. Church is not like a 7-Eleven where you run in there, grab a blessing off the snack counter and keep it moving. You've got to be blessed through prayer and live the right way like a righteous man. Hey. Man, see, I get my blessings from spreading the word of God, young brother. Sucker, you don't even preach. Uh, he tell us, bow your heads, and we get our heads bowed, and he's on his phone texting. Who you texting? Why don't you text God for me? You got a direct line to him. I'm going to end up calling J.G. Whitworth for my blessing. Now, how would he know I'm not praying? If he's supposed to be praying, how he know what I'm doing? That's probably why he ain't got no blessings. You wasn't praying when you were supposed to. He preached about the Lakers more than he knew about God. Then he prayed too. You know what? It's I can put these holy hands on you if you want to. I'm good from the shoulders, bruh. I got the extra virgin olive oil and all that. You know what I'm saying? We can all get anointments up in here. Left and right handed anointments. All right, all right now, Pastor. Settle down. Come on, you're a holy man. What are you doing? You can't be threatening people in my courtroom. I'm the holiest of the holy, Your Honor. God is my squad, and I ain't got no work. All right now, Pastor. You said you're not worried, all right? Why don't you uh, tell us exactly where the church funds go? That's what I want to know. So, uh, um, you know, it's distributed amongst the, the church members. Mm -hmm. We also got, you know, the, the deacon's anniversary dinner, the uh, Beyond Belief. Red Lobster Luncheon, okay? We got the Sin Never Wins Kickball Tournament, okay? And we got, of course, the building fund. Man, what building fund? You know how long you had that building fund? Oh. Who's the contractor? The toilets don't even work. Last Sunday, Brother Larry caught the Holy Spirit, jumped up because the Spirit told him to leap. He jumped up, fell through the floor. We thought he was literally getting taken, pulled down to hell in the middle of service. The man had a mild heart attack. You know that wasn't my fault. Your fault! All right, settle down now. Let me ask you one last question, uh, Pastor. Is there anyone else in the church that can vouch? Uh, Your Honor, I can confirm the expense. Okay. My name is Deacon Smith, mm -hmm. and this man is a bold-faced liar. He ain't drop a dime on my anniversary dinner. <laughs> did he even show up? I'm a witness. Mm -hmm. I'm a witness.
witness. Who is this? This is my wife, Mrs. Real. She's the uh, treasurer of the church. You mean that crazy <laughs> with dementia? She don't even know where she going. How she gonna know where the money going? Don't judge me, because I want two double cheeseburgers, Your Honor. Um, <laughs> can I get uh, bacon, lettuce, tomato? But no, 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 no onions, though, baby. Oops. It gets stuck in my little teeth. Okay, all right, just yeah. sit down. Just go on, sit down. Right, we'll go to McDonald's no after this. She likes the dollar menu. Speaking of dollars, I like 5,000 of them oh, every uh, Sunday. Figures. That's what we do in the household. We just blur it out. Random numbers. It started with that little jingle, five dollar foot long, and then she kicked it up to five thousand. We just keep going up. Get your money up. Get your money up, y'all. Get your money up. Get your money up. Yeah, that's all. Get your money up. You hear that? Tell them we get the racks on racks on racks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we do get the racks, cause yeah. cause the building fund. We got new racks for the choir room, for the choir. I'm not gonna tell them where the money go. I know you don't like snitches. Mm. Nobody likes a snitch. Snitching is the devil's work. Oh, yes it is. Shut up, The devil is right. working overtime today. I have reached a verdict in this case. I like rap music too there, Pastor. I like Drake. I like it when the hot light blanks. And right now, it's blinking for the plaintiff in the amount of $4,002. Case closed. See what you done did, Addy, mate. I told you about talking to strangers. Snitching is the devil's work. Oh, yes, it is. Snitching yeah, is the devil's work. Is my food done? Hey, my God. Glory. 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 Okay, well, stand right oh. over here. Tell me, uh, ah. you won the case. What is going on in your mind right uh, now? Jesus. Uh, Jesus is going through my mind. Jesus is my everything. He's my antibiotics for my infection. He's my end all for all. He's my white out when I mess up. Hey! Glory, won't he still do? He's still in the healing business. He'll touch you. Let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, watch over this corresponding gentleman. He has what it takes to make it all the way to the top. You know what he needs. You know what he wants. Make him a winner like you made me a winner today in George Lewis's court. Hey! How I get up out of here? I need to deposit this money. Pastor Rell, uh, things uh, kind of unraveled for you pretty quickly over there. Uh, tell me what happened inside the courtroom. Get that mic the hell out of my face, man. Okay. I ain't got the answer to nobody but the man above. Yes, sir. Okay, well, the man above uh, said you lost the court case. Any any uh, last quotes for us? Um, I would like a number two with cheese, um, bacon, lettuce, no tomato. Ma'am, do, do you know where you are? You're actually in a court of law. Yes. I also would like fries with that. Hey, hey, uh, I'm sorry to bother you, but I just had to say, damn! I mean, damn! But then damn, 